want uh, Al Gore, George Soros, uh, Barack Obama. That's what they want. They want total control over the world, and Thanks. especially on the United States of America. And it's heading in that direction, Alex. Believe me, it's heading in that direction. And if we don't do something about it, the people don't rise up. We're going to have a revolution in our country. Because once the government comes in and starts telling, dictating us how we can raise our children, uh, putting, our, putting us in jail if we don't send our kids to school to learn what uh, homosexuality, uh, homosexuality is all about and, and uh, how to uh, use condoms properly, uh, they're going to put you in jail. Well, Chuck, I, I, in, in, in 2000, I covered Fiskate when it first broke that they were taking 14-year-olds to a dorm with beds and 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 I, and I had stations get got angry when I played the audio tapes. This person is now the school czar, mm -hmm. teaching fourteen year olds. Even if it was heterosexual, it's pedophilia. It, it doesn't matter what heterosexual, homosexual. The thing is, that's too young to be. Uh, you know, well, why are they allowed to engage basically in pedophilia? <sighs> oh golly, I don't know why they are. You know, I mean, it's sickening. It's absolutely sickening. And, and that's what they want. They want a free society where anything goes. I mean, George Soros, he loves that. He wants a free society in our country. And, uh, and I really believe he's the power behind it all. And I really believe that uh, that's the direction they're going, is having America as a free society. And, uh, and, you, and uh, you know, that you can do pedophilia. You can do whatever you want, which will be okay. It's not gonna, there's not going to be a crime about it. Well, yeah, NAMBLA is an official part of the UN. They're a non-governmental organization. That's the North American Man Boy Love Association. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. You, you know, I don't hate any of uh, 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 you know groups out there for their sexual no, no, preference I, I or whatever. But, me, but I, I do hate NAMBLA. Friends. I do hate NAMBLA going after children. Sorry, I go do ahead. Too. No, I have a lot of friends that are uh, uh, homosexual, uh, gays, and uh, and that's not the concern of mine. If that's their lifestyle, fine. But going after people's kids. Yeah, going after people's kids, that's, uh, that's a whole different animal. And uh, God forbid anyone ever come after my children. Uh, I, would, uh, I would spend the rest of my life in jail because I would, uh, I would pulverize them. Chuck Norris, you and any good parent would, you brought up during the break what you're really upset about. I, I said, what's most concerning? You talked about California's trying to pass laws to restrict homeschooling. Germany arrests you if you won't send your children to their indoctrination. Yeah, they, they've actually pulled children out of homeschool. They, they're uh, trying to keep you from having homeschooled there in Germany. And uh, I've read uh, blogs where parents have gone to jail because they would not let their kids go to a public school and learn about you know the, uh, homosexuality and 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 free and free sex you know and how you know how to do it. I mean, uh, what, what's our world coming to, Alex? Uh, uh, it's so depressing, you know, to see the decadence that's going on, not only in our country but all over the world. But whatever happened to innocence, just leaving kids alone to have a good time and not turn them into adults or not turn them into perverts? Look at this. At twelve years of age. Guys, punch up Maury Strong. I want people to see that quote. You talked about how they want to destroy our society. Maury Strong, the head of the U.N. Environment Program, involved with the Oil for Food Program. He, he's, he's, he's now uh, been indicted. He's in trouble. He said, is it the only hope for the planet that the industrial civilizations collapse? Isn't it our responsibility to bring that about? He said that in 92 at the U.N. He said carbon taxes are to destroy the economy. They want to bankrupt the economy and make us dependent on them. And that's everything you're fighting against, Chuck. And well, that's, that's what's what so exciting. That's what they want to do here. They want to bankrupt our economy here in the United States and then come with a universal coin, uh, universal money, international money, and, uh, and take away the, the dollar we have here in America and, uh, and everyone use uh, the international currency. And I, you know, and I see that just like North Korea. You know, North Korea just implemented uh, you know, changing the currency there. Well, that's what's going to happen uh, universally if we don't do something about it. Chuck, in, the, in closing, let me ask you this. I've had a lot of national media here the last week, and I play them clips of the head of the EU, head of the UN calling for global government, Al Gore. I give them the treaty, the Copenhagen Treaty, that states global government, a 2% tax on everything, which they're now promoting, Pelosi and others are, a, a, you know, all these other taxes. And they, they tell me it doesn't exist. That's a mind game, isn't it? Where they just... It's all a mind game, Alex. It's all a mind game. You know, and they're saying, well, we want to help the poor countries. We have poor people in our own country. You know, a lot of our kids, our inner city kids, you know, the, the, 
they, they, they won't have a Christmas this year because they have no money. And, uh, and the thing is, why are we helping the poor in our own country and helping them uh, uh, be able to enjoy the luxuries of, uh, of, of what we have in this country? This is what irritates the heck out of me, is all the money we send overseas trying to help them out, and they don't even appreciate it. Let's give it to the people in our own country. Well, I agree, Chuck and Norris, but... It, Alex. But, but Chuck, it's worse. The eugenicists, the White House science are. They say the carbon taxes are about starving the third world. These carbon cuts in the treaty will, will just kill millions of starvation a year conservatively. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I just uh, believe charity begins at home. And, and uh, I, you know, and I just, I just hope the people see what is going on and, uh, and just not sit home and say, well, Whatever happens, what it will happen. Uh, it's you know, it's not it's not the way it should be, you know. And uh, I'm 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 very concerned about it, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost like uh, if you do it, I'll do it. No, you do it first, and then I'll do it. You know, it's like <laughs> nobody, everybody wants. Uh, no one will step up unless uh, someone else does. And but I, I really believe I really believe that we, the uh, United States, have to start leading as a by example. We do, we do. Chuck With Norris. the legend Chuck Norris, or few people we can say really are a legend. Uh, the uh, best-selling book is the official Chuck Norris fact book. You can get it for uh, twelve ninety nine at Amazon.com or even less. Great stocking stuffer. And all the proceeds of that go to a really good cause. And that, of course, is the Kickstart uh, program with youth all over the country. And you do teach them uh, discipline, teach them self-respect, teach them self-control. It really does save a lot of lives. And it's so important, uh, all the great things Chuck, Chuck Norris is doing. Okay, Chuck, finishing up uh, with that point you got cut off. Obama, you talk about him wanting a dictatorship. Clearly, they are setting one up. Clearly, he's setting up a domestic police force he's called for. Uh, you talk about revolution. How do we get the people to stand up and say no so it doesn't get to that point? Well, the thing is, right now, leadership in our country is very scarce. You know, I think uh, 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 two leaders that I, I uh, look up to is Ron Paul and uh, Mike Huckabee. You know, and Mike Huckabee has a voice now on, on Fox, and uh, and it's really showing because the, the polls are saying that he is by far the leading candidate for uh, the Republican ticket in 2012. I really think, and, you know, being with my Mike Huckabee for five months campaigning for him, I saw him as a man of integrity and honesty and really a very intelligent man. And he, uh, you know, he when on that tour, he never had a teleprompter. He never had no, he, he never had anything. He talked right from his heart, Alex. And that was very impressive. Now, I saw the media confronting him with that made-up thing about that nut that the parole board said let out. Well, and no, he was, was just so was slick talking. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, as he explained, that was 10 years ago. Uh, the kid was 16 years old, and all he committed was burglary. You know, he didn't he didn't assault anyone. He didn't kill anyone. It was strictly a burglary. Well, it does show the media is scared of Huckabee. That's why they... Oh, they're scared of him. They're scared of him. And, uh, you know, but he, the, the guy did fall between the cracks because those judges in Washington let him out after he'd committed those heinous crimes. And uh, that was where the you know, the failure was, was in Washington. Well, Chuck, we're going to let you go because I know you've got a newspaper interview coming up. But on the subject of Huckabee, he has been coming out now and talking about new, the New World Order. He said it's a bad thing. And I think it's becoming more acceptable now to tell the truth about the U.N. and the globalist and George Soros, thanks to you and others speaking out. But I have no doubt that we're going to defeat the New World Order uh, having Chuck Norris on our side. Well, we're going to survive three more years, uh, Alex. And then we're going to have Mike Huckabee as president and, uh, and Ron Paul as Secretary of the Treasury. And that way we'll keep things honest in our country. Thank you so much, uh, Chuck Norris, for joining us. We'll talk to you next year. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye. God bless. Okay, Let there goes too. Chuck Norris. Take care, sir. Well, that was a fun interview with Chuck Norris. <laughs> uh, what about a Huckabee-Ron Paul ticket? Look, a Huckabee's not perfect, but compared to, compared to George Bush and uh, Barack Obama, my gosh, anything's good. It's... Oh, my gosh. You know, I'm just glad that Chuck Norris is uh, is going around speaking out against the New World Order. He's going on national TV. And when Sean Hannity said, oh, well, Ron Paul's a kook, Ron Paul's a nut. And he said, well, good, I'm a nut, too. I like him. You know, he didn't betray him. He didn't uh, wasn't a doubting Thomas. He, he didn't.